what was it like working with John and Will? Oh, uh, I mean, horrible. I, for me, really horrible. challenging just in how mean they were and rude yeah. and kind of pushed me sad. around. Sad. I yeah. found it to be very sad. Yeah, they're obviously very depressed people mm. and struggling, so. Yeah, <laughs> I just could never remember what fun was yeah. after a day of working with them. Yeah, it was hard to find <laughs> that again in my life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it was great. It was obviously great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Rebecca, this for you. Tell us a little bit about the story. What's the mystery Holmes and Watson are trying to solve? The mystery that Holmes and Watson are trying to solve is, um, what is it? I mean, so, I feel like they're it's a, solving so many they, things. They do solve multiple, they're on the hunt to solve multiple things, and there's the... They're mostly there's, trying to solve something that Moriarty's done and in the way that happens in most Sherlock Holmes stories. But then a lot of other things happen along the way, including a plot to kill the queen, and they're trying to stop that, which yeah. might be linked to Moriarty. And our, our Sherlock Holmes is, well, he's, he's different. Yeah. He's mentally yeah. different. Yeah, he's not as good at solving <laughs> he's not, things. not as sharp <laughs> as some of the other ones that have existed yeah. in the history of time. He gets there in the end. But the, the fact that he dawdles a bit yeah. makes movie magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, describe your respective romances with Holmes and Watson. Yeah, mine is very relatable um, <laughs> for most people, I think. Uh, I play Millie, who's she's raised by feral cats, and she's uh, unable to communicate. And so Sherlock falls for her immediately because, you know, that's just a clean slate for him to work with. Yeah, I mean, he's able to kind of lay on whatever he imagines her to be thinking about, and he can continue to be so self-centered that uh, the relationship really works well for him. Mm. Yeah, I don't know that anyone cares what Millie thinks about <laughs> <laughs> In general, yeah. Yeah, my, my character is Dr. Grace Hart. She's this sort of brilliant um, doctor, the first lady doctor, so a very accomplished woman with a really low success rate of people who actually survive under her care. But, you know, less said about that, the, the better. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess she's a kind of like, a, a kind of like good, I mean, Watson's arguably in love with Sherlock Holmes, so she's got that kind of vibe in lady form, and so he falls for her. Perfect. And what can audiences expect from this movie? You can expect to just laugh and have a good time Stomach and forget about it. your problems for a bit. Yeah, yeah. just from laughing. So yeah, hard, probably. Yeah. Great. <laughs> and what makes this the perfect holiday movie? It's a really good family film, actually. I think like you know your your kids are gonna love it. Your kid, you know, your sort of seven to ten year old kids are gonna really enjoy it. It's, it's silliness, but like for every gag that good for them there's one that's just as good for the parents yeah um it's kind of an all-round yeah and Sherlock fun. feels Christmassy to me I don't know yeah it's just England like, is yeah. very Christmassy yeah. Victorian it's all Dickensy stuff even mm -hmm. though it's not Dickensy there's a yeah. little send-up of some Dickens going on there cool and any New Year's resolutions this year yeah I'm mine is that I'm trying to cook meals for myself and not rely on takeout food so that's I've really been good one. been cooking and I hope to continue mm -hmm. yeah mm. I, I, I don't I, well I'm a relatively new parent so I'm, I'm going to go with more sleep <laughs> uh, what are some holiday traditions you might participate in hmm mm. I, I have I have a bunch of holiday traditions I'm big on the holidays I take yeah. it very seriously uh, my family listens to the Polar Express on tape cassette tape that, <laughs> like an old tradition in my one. family and it was uh, yeah it's really Read by William Hurt. It's very dramatic and lovely. <laughs> I was listening to Carols from Kings. Oh, yeah? Mm. And eat mince pies, which is not such a big thing in America. Yeah, but I've never had a mince pie. Nobody has mince pies. In England, you like have you, you either make them or you get them in December 1, and you have that with brandy butter, and you have it in the house, and you offer it to everyone who walks in your door for the whole of December oh, wow. without fail. That's nice. Yeah. And I miss it here. It's very difficult to get brandy butter and mince pies. <laughs> <laughs> and what is, what's Holmes and Watson's relationship like? What makes it unique and different from anything we've seen before? Mm. I mean, I think just how ridiculous they are together. It's the most, I mean, it's maybe the only absurd version of this story. So it's really yeah. uh, very different in that sense. They're both bumbling 
fools yeah. for a lot it's of just, it. It's good satire. <laughs> it's like sending up the things about the real Sherlock Holmes and Watson that sort of you can... It's playing with those, like, the things that we love about the real stuff, but sort of just making it that much bigger that it becomes, you know, a little bit of a poking fun about the ridiculous elements of it. Yeah. And I think actually all Holmes and Watson, they're really in love. Yeah. I they really care about each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the, uh, <laughs> that's the difference. <laughs> Fantastic. AJ, you know me? I just, uh, did you guys set up for us your kind of all-star cast that you guys got to work with? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we got to work with so many amazing people. I mean, Ray Fiennes... Yes. Um, I just have to think now. Kelly McDonald. Kelly McDonald. Rob Brydon, who's Rob so Bryden, funny. Rob Brydon, who's hilarious. Um, Steve Coogan. Uh, he, uh, Hugh, Laurie. Hugh Laurie. We didn't get to work with any yeah. of these people. I got to talk safe. to him for a second. But I did see them. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. saw them at breakfast once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lots of hilarious people. 